Okay, moving on to orange, yellow, and red. So let's fix the strap on this one. It needs the hanger replaced. I like to have all my hangers to match or close as I can. And this is a nice material. Another kind of crepey material, size 10. Soft and flowy. And this one people have been asking about, I believe it's one that has the cutouts. Let's see if I can get it looking better. Ties, cutouts. The rest of the hooks are this is a Leah Maria size medium so lots of adjustments the straps are adjustable um, it's ruffled all the way down great one for family portraits oh this is the one actually so this one is the one that has all the crisscrosses in it it's kind of hard to figure out <laughs> to get on but it helps to have the picture size large Brand new Leah Maria Couture, and it's long maxi dress, and it's got a big slit. So another fun one for a edgy mom for sexy family portraits or a couple portrait, or by yourself. Here's mustard. I got mustard because I thought it would be popular, and nobody's worn it, so it's a size large. So it is a true large. It looks like um, it's not a bright yellow like this. It's Definitely more mustard. This looks like neon yellow, and it's not at all. It's very subtle, and it's pretty. Okay, on to the real red. Get this zipper real quick. <laughs> oh, I can't do it with one hand. I don't want to stop the video. <laughs> but anyway, this is a pretty... Um, it's got the halter style with the um, beading and the sequins going around the neck and around the waist and all the way around to the back and size medium oh it probably doesn't work so this says as is it's from junkie so i will sell it for even less than i paid for it just fun for party or something this one's been really versatile i probably won't get rid of this one i just show it to you also if you see any dresses you want to wear for a portrait session definitely let me know and we can always make that happen so this one's a great style um, it has lots of flow. You can throw the sides a bit. Um, I highly recommend this dress, even if you don't buy mine, to look up this dress and find it. Um, and this one's really big. I used it on a small lady, but it was huge on her, so we really had to nip and tuck a lot. So this one is a very heavily beaded. Um, looks like it had straps, but they look like they're very fragile and broken, so... That would require something. That's why I use these for portrait sessions too, because you don't have to repair anything. You just make it work the way it is. But tons and tons of bugle beads. Lots of detail. So that one would go cheap too. And that is a four. Lots of red. <laughs> I didn't think I had enough, so I went out and got more. So that one's a nice ruched. And it looks like it might be cut out. I can't tell from here. It's definitely got the crisscross straps in the back. I don't think it's cut out though. I think it's solid. And then this one. It's not as orangey as it looks, but it's got like a nude undertone liner and that is it is it is it is come on now size small This one is a really pretty material too, just kind of 
polyester and smooth strapless trumpet style. My daughter wore this for her engagement portraits and it was stunning. So maybe you'll be the next stunning girl to wear it. And I'm sure that's a smaller medium. This one I probably won't get rid of. I think this is new, but I'll show it to you. Big slit, lots of ruffly red tulle with a corset, and probably it looks pretty good size, so probably a large. And then I could pin it to be smaller. Trumpet skirt, strapless red embroidery lace. Very elegant. Size three. That's another one that could be for a party dress or a bridesmaid's dress. Completely ruched, bugle beads. David's bridal size. Come on, it's got this little tiny tag that I can't flip in the right direction. Oh, it's a heart. That was real fake. <laughs> Come on, dress size two. Oh, that does not look like a two. So it doesn't look like a small two for sure. Okay, and this one is a similar, is that the same one? No, similar ruching style. It's got a little bow on it. Doesn't have the detailing on the, on the bust. It does have a lace up back and it's beautiful coarse or taffeta satin. This one looks fairly small, I would say though. I wouldn't say that's any bigger than the last one. Another very elegant statement piece. Ruffled collar with a slit up the side and that's a trumpet skirt oh this one snuck in this is a pantsuit strapless pantsuit in a dark red this looks like a bigger size h&m and it's size 14. so that's fun and one more kind of ruchy layering in this David's Bridal. And this one looks like a bigger size. So they put these hearts in and I don't know where they put the size. It's so weird. So it says David's Bridal and it just has heart. And I don't know if that means it's custom or what, but that one's definitely a bigger size, like about a 14. This real pretty strapless, David's bridal, detailing beads. This one has a long tag, so maybe it's got a size. Size two. I try not to end up with all these small sizes, but sometimes it just happens. So here's a beautiful Southern Fried Chicks dress. I have this one in the white, and this one's a large. It's so pretty. Adjustable straps. And then this one is really cool. It's got gold overlay embroidered lace. Kind of a sheer top part. Um, it doesn't look like there's a slit, so it's got a pretty straight skirt. And then this one, let's see if I can even get inside of it. See the tag, but no, oh, no size. Okay, we're almost done with the reds. Oh, this is really pretty, the pleated look. Lots of detailing. It's kind of hard to show it on the hanger. But that's gonna look gorgeous on for sure, size 16. 
So another more four sizes, which is great. Two more. This feels like silk. Got this gorgeous gold bugle beads. Just a fitted sheath. Two straps and across the back. And it's a Cinderella. And size four. Last one. Elegant evening gown. Just a little bit of crisscross. Got a little bit of taffeta underneath to make it fuller. This is a David's Bridal. And it's a size four. Okay, so we got those done. Now we're on to black. 